Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Shit, I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. Man, that would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit?
Looking... <sighs> kind of lame. Swipe left. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. Dad thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek. Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Who would have thought playing Minecraft would get him back to his blocks? Got this for a girl in the eighth grade. But I chickened out. I used to play with these at Ellery's. Man, I feel old. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. This thing is so cheap and ugly. I love it. So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24-7. Man, my brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. What is he making with all that crap? Oh, no time for this. Where are you? Wish I had more time to play. Unless we're summer school. They're probably going to bury me in this thing. Dad got in trouble for his last barbecue. Hope he does it again, so I can come this time. Sucks to be Daniel, but he can't bug me all the time. I would have been pissed if I was there. Oh, asshole. Be anywhere. Oh, 
shit. Sorry, Andrew. I'm the free babysitter now. Daniel is psyched, but I'd rather just go with Lila and the crew. Whoa, hold on. Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? <sighs> Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man. You started it, dickhead. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! He started it. He always gets mad! He's totally lying! You little- Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap, okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Ugh, now. This is so stupid. It's bullshit. Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that, and I do look out for him, I swear, but he's a little brat. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay. I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him. Like you are now. <laughs> Says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. See you tonight, kids. Be nice and don't break anything. Elves. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear anything! Dude. La la la! Whoa! Don't know who drew this, but it's totally rad. Hey, Daniel, why are you pouting? 
A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. Leave me alone. Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. Why are you still here? Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly, you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay, if I sit down. <sighs> so, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself since you're not around as much hey come on it's not like i'm leaving home you might as well i never see you we don't even play games anymore we don't do anything daniel i just i want to hang out with my friends sometimes you're gonna be doing the same thing in a couple of years hi I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Sean, this is so cool. I'll keep it forever and ever. Mm. Man, <sighs> Beaver Creek feels so far away.
Yep. I'm a real man now. Kind of. Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. Daniel keeps reading it again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. <sighs> hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. He doesn't talk about it, but... I know Daniel really misses <sighs> Chris. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh, uh, hi, uh, yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay, I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean, breakfast time. say, I'm glad we took some of this stuff. We needed it. It's a mystery how Finn can be so messy and strong at the same time. I always bought him reading in the morning. Like he isn't cool enough already. I thought I liked weed, but this guy's on a whole nother level. Glad somebody's getting some action. Weird to see him younger. Finn looks so... innocent. Finn told me a bit more about train hopping. This map is like his Bible. Can't tag a train without paint. Gotta have backup signs. Jeez. She's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. Never seen a dog so chilled. Doesn't care about anything. Yeah. Like you don't get pet enough around here. I'm not quite sure who Penny is. He's so out there. Hannah's so private about her life. Plus, she probably hates my guts. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. I don't know what's inside. Like that movie. The sun has saved us. These guys have top gear. Wish I did. Shoot, what's the date today? Is it the 15th or 16th? What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. 
What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. Aw, that's cute. How old is she? She's nine years old now. <sighs> like Daniel. Do you miss her? I probably miss her the most. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. These trees are just so gorgeous. And that's my job now. Full-time Daniel Wrangler. He's really lucky to have you. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Um, thinking of you? I do think a lot about her. I'm sure she does too. I don't know. I'm afraid Sarah's a bit mad at me for leaving her. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. My turn. Gotta stock up the shower and kitchen later tonight. Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. Jake's stuff is always so tidy and neat. Just like him. Coffee time, Sean. Man, Those guys sure know how to live out. outdoors. They've taught me so much already. Water is kind of rare around here. Everything goes into the plantations. Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Yay. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? <laughs> I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narcs, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So, then, where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Kush gear. Not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. Well, at least they can't just screw over workers, like here. What? That means people like you and me will be fucked. No paperwork, no job. Truth. I hear ya. Oh, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. Uh, I think you forgot something, Sean. 
you gonna make some more coffee, right? I keep thinking you're Dutch. Uh, because we... Oh, uh, sorry. Where from again? My bad. Yeah. Not your coffee, boy. We share. Always. Sweden, Malmö. You wouldn't hear about it. <laughs> a long fucking way to work a farm. We shower like yeah. once or twice a week. Gives us more time to chill. Okay, right? Oh yeah. Good times. Living large and humbled. I wish we came sooner. Uh -huh. I feel like we will never see everything now. You did. Gotta ride with us, right? You saw the real shit. True. I will miss you too, Penny. Funny how I like being out in the forest now. I actually feel free. Most of them are into fancy hippie food and fast food junk. Man, I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold, but fucking awesome. So many missing persons around here. Creepy. That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow. Finn trained you well. Six bullseyes, dude? Yeah. I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean. Idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on. Let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Oh, Sean, hold your right arm, yeah. more like this, better alignment, better aim. Won't really help. Dude, what's wrong with you? Between the fucking eyes. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Did you guys escape from some circus? Mm. That was just luck. Seriously, that shit was off the chain. One time is luck. Second time is skill. So let's see.
Oh, fuck that! <laughs> Miss, see, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if he can't throw. Whew. After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet. Uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? You think that shit is funny? What shit? Stop acting stupid. You're pushing it, Daniel. You made me miss in front of Finn. What if he finds out, huh? What then? I'm not stupid. He won't find out. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that. I'm not a kid anymore. Daniel, don't. Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now. Or what? I said stop, Daniel. Don't run me. Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with their new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos, remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom, since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught while looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair. But you're my brother. And my responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know. But I'm not gonna be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh-oh. Bid Joe. Hey, you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh. Nah, I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Daniel, remember what I said? Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know, it could be way worse. We're making cash, Inano. Okay, okay. Wish we could send Chris a present or something. Or maybe just check on him. We will, Daniel, when we're safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hide and seek last night, especially in the dark. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot.
sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to get me a knife. You mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Hey, little man. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, knife. just Bye. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jumps. You're not listening to anything I say. So I cut it. Are you? Yeah. What? Jeez, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh shit! Ooh, too, too much sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was two peas in a pod. These ones. I'll show you the battle scope. Oh, this is high last night. Sean Jellick. Cool. Nah. I love Just you, keeping you an eye out. With that you know? Though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big brother watching. Hey, who's the next That's cute. master here? I'm Jeff. Did you lock the tent? Do you want to see stuff for shown in that even? So. Wrong. How do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? here. <laughs> with us misfits. Well, Man, we I still feel like an outsider, you know? Why are you oh, you're doing great. Trust me. Ain't the meat beer. I was way worse than you when I joined the game. Really? Please, don't hurt me. Looks like we found your place. Hey, I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sap phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from the factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. He's just a goon, guys. Bet he worked for some gang. Must have done something bad to end up here. Duh. Boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. He's <laughs> kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit talking me, Cheech? 
Huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. Hey. You're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would have beat you down. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time you won't be. <laughs> Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders. And what your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls. But this is a pot farm, and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm... gonna go check on him, then. How old is he, anyway? Oh, uh... Nine. He's nine years old. Jeez. Tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on them. Yeah. Not an easy thing to do out here. I know. Ain't no place for children. That's why I keep mine in New York. Isn't that... hard? Of course it is. But it won't be forever. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it! All right, we good? Eh, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well? What are you waiting for? You know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. 
This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules. For now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, look at all these butts. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring, we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. 15 hours straight once. Yeah, <laughs> trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa. We are uh, lucky. Shit. Right, and then your arms fall I off. I hate these scissors. Fuck all that. You got any reception, Big Joe? This place is a cell killer. Oh, of course. I should clean my scissors. They're a mess. <laughs> hmm. Sweetie? It's okay. You're doing fine. Just slow down if you need to. I know. I will. Thanks, John. Sean. <laughs> Sean. Still with us? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Brain fart. Mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay. Just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. Feels like working in a factory. Imagine doing this for years. See? Sean agrees with me. As always. This is fun at first, but it does start to get old after a while. How about stop bitching so much? Sean, you're already on Meryl's shit list. Don't get us all kicked out of here. Just sit and trim. <coughs> Damn, Sean. <laughs> We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. <laughs> but worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. Hey, 
narrow here. But for real, okay. though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Cassidy, What's we this? get it. Over and over. Hey, no. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Okay, man. Calm down. Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Dream big. I'd like to see the pyramids. Or the top of Mount Fuji. Sean Diaz. Global traveler. Yeah. Stalking Humboldt. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, I mean. let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. This is Yo, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit. It's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa. Down. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh. Don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. <sighs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop. You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. How's it going? Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go! Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus. We're off the bus. Hey, everybody chill. Let's not get... Sean, step back. This is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall <laughs> out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Jason. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy Just week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. You gotta be careful with those scissors. They're sharp as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. <laughs> Part of the fun. Ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? I did. Love the Jerry Springer moment, when Hannah and Cass started picking on each other. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss.
How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job, cash, friends, safety. John, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear. He acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> yeah, my brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah, he'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That sucks. Uh, what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know? I love traveling, checking out new things. Yeah, never gets old. <laughs> well, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary, so fucking far. Hey, hey it is, but you have time and a strong, uh, Damn it. Uh, Will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. It will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. Hey. Hola. <laughs> ¿Qué está, señor? <laughs> Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, no comprendo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Still learning, professor. <laughs> At least you're trying. Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. She's so natural. I wish I could be more like that. Socializing is... hard. How long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money. Nobody. These guys know how to make a bong out of pretty much anything. And now I do too. Shit. Guess Penny's looking for somebody. That sucks. That is awful, Hannah. Nice to have a dog around again. But I came back to Humble. Still miss room. Had this sweet deal with Meryl. Wonder if they'd give me a cool nickname if I stayed here. Aw. They look so cute here. I love how they're like a real family.
It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home, get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up. We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green, but starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit, especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Not for long. It's true. We gotta do something. That's what we're saying. Blah, fucking blah. Taurus talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world, and then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV. I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched and they have to bust ass and they're gone. I know I have a lot to learn. I mean, you've been doing this for years, right? Pretty much, 10 years or so. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. I know, that's not what I'm trying to do. Last thing I want is to interfere with your group. I'm not saying you can never fit. Just letting you know how it is. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first, always. That's good, shows you're not a selfish prick. That way too many. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out where that curse can get me to. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn at some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago. Pissed at everything. Her, unable to commit to anything, except us. Then Pennywise found us, here in Humboldt, tripping about his friend Jinx. But, you know, he just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Almost done. Don't fuck with her. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? 
Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing... That's it. Finally. Need a hand with your own chores? That'd be awesome. I need help moving the water tanks to the shower and kitchen. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank so we can take on those barrels. Oh, I think I will miss it here. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Plus, Portland's waiting for us. <sighs> I think I'll take a nap. Me ah. too. I'm exhausted after today. <sighs> Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. One step at a time, Sean. I think I made some good trims today. And talking with the girls is always entertaining. Weird we didn't see any bears with all that trash lying around. Hello, Dolly. You're old. That's some deep shit. Hmm. Wonder who's her mom. And who's the other woman? So cool he carries this around. Wish I could see the pictures he took of us. Weird. Where did he get that from? Must be tough to be so far away from his sister. Let's carry that one to the shower. Gotta put that one near the shower. Trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? I was really in the zone today. Hope that'll pay.
I've looked enough. Time to draw now. What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just... Fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Daniel's waiting for me. I should go meet him. Okay, time to help Daniel do some power training. He's waiting at the lake. Easy money, they said. Yeah, right. Pennies all over the place. He'll go anywhere. <laughs> Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Well, you never bothered to teach me, so... I found my own technique. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Let's start with our team howl. T.S. Lobos. Still sound okay. Now let's do this. Come on. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Trunk? Duh. Hey! <laughs> Your face! Come on. I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Okay. Let's have some fun. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. 
Or maybe you... What the? <laughs> Is that what you got? Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. Come on, find something else. Pick a rock, any rock. Okay, and? Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? That was some next level shit, Daniel. Thanks. I've been... Training on my own sometimes. I know I haven't been around a lot lately. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well, it's my power, not yours. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Don't say that. You know it's always you and me, and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. Can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go, and we have to go together, right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Fuck. Daniel, stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! Serious munchies. Any chips left? 
Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat ball. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't me. Had a long death to leg ducks. I took both roads everywhere. Whoa. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm serious, man. Look. They're finally coming to take you back. Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. I love your voice. Meow. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <laughs> <clears throat> hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Um, sure. I'll take a hit. Daniel, no fucking way. How come you can, but I can't? Because I said so. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Go sleep nuts. tight. Jeez. I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and black flag. <sighs> we got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Man, I miss Mushroom. That was our rescue dog. She didn't make it with us. Oh, sweetie. Jeez, sorry I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory fair and square are you serious why the fuck not we all need to say our piece once in a while who's up penny cool let's stop the violin check this out Bye. say hello to my little friend jinx met him dumpster diving in new mexico it was cool the boy had issues mood swings delirious self-harm fun shit like that you seem to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust to no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared. A few miles north from here, in a pop farm just like this one. 
He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoom. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yup. Whoa. Well, he must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? <sighs> I used to be a sheep. A true yeah. believer. Oh. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else... Yeah. I've got a whole bag of these. Don't worry. We're all listening, man. Well, this is after me and Daniel took off from Seattle last year. We ended up at this redneck gas station in the middle of nowhere. But our pictures were on, like, every local newspaper. Fucking gutter press. So the owner shows up and knocks my ass out. He tied me up and called the cops. I hope you beat his racist ass to a pulp. Actually, Daniel did all the work. He got us out before the cops arrived. Oh, oh. that's my champ. Damn vigilantes. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. <sighs> Come on, bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses, I'm just saying, you can't change the past, so you just gotta focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just 
chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. And that's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Here's in. <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day, too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Yep. Yeah, I'm ready to crash, too. Let's go. What? No, you're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep, and then you'll turn my ear off. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, Sweet night. Sweet dreams. See you in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Hey, can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah? It kind of uh, bummed me out when you said that you weren't a kid anymore. I mean, I know you're not, but I'm going to miss it. I can't help it, Sean. Things are so different now. I miss my friends, my room, my playbots, everything. It all seems so far away now. I know I'm not always nice with you, but things aren't nice anymore. I know. But don't let this change who you are. I just wish I could have a normal life again and stop being so angry all the time. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it. But, it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah. You're too big for it. I am? But, I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers. If that's okay. Just, don't tell the others. Okay? Promise. Alright. Get comfy. Where were we? Oh, yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends, but the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on, but he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the Wolf Brothers from each other. Ever.
Sean, move it now. What? What? Okay, this is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. <sighs> Seriously. We have to save every dime, so... Hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me. They will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. 
Yes, I know. But we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes. And don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay. We'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let him go! Shh. I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir. Quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way. Now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph. Just teach him a lesson. Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it. It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What the... Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Whoa. Well, that's it. Believe it or not, I told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn, I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here, in case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man, so Sean, Maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Nada. Zero. Nothing. Trust me. I tried. Really? When? Do you have any idea where it comes from? 
I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself, seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise, you can trust us. Jake? I don't know, I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. It's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Ah, uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh, no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. <sighs> Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. <laughs> so should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. We can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but... What if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't know what can happen. I'm not scared of cops. I can stop them anytime I want. Jeez, Daniel. It's not... At least... This will all be behind us once we reach Port Dolores. Who cares about Port Dolores? We'll talk later. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure.
So, what are you gonna do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm gonna do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Yeah, <laughs> when I got out of jail, I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. Took off. <laughs> that was it, man. No more family. Just me. Always trying to find a new daddy. <laughs> or new bros. Yeah. Stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah, you're starting all over. And now, you just gotta take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel, right? I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. <laughs> no, it's not. You just gotta trust your gut, Sean. Life will follow. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be all right, laddie. You, uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit after all this. You deserve the lotto for life. Seriously. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. <laughs> You don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. I can't, Finn. No way. Too dangerous for Daniel. <laughs> nah. See, Daniel is the dangerous one. Nobody can even touch him. You know it. I said no. I bet you're pissed at us because he didn't get paid. Uh, I would be too. I'm so sorry, but... Okay. Okay. No stress, man. I respect your decision. Just wanted to help you. And Daniel. Much love to you guys. Yeah. Sucks you have to go tomorrow. Makes me sad. <laughs> Gonna miss you, Sean. Truly. Thanks, Finn. Same here. I'm glad you and Daniel have each other. You two are special. You got powers. Don't take shit from anybody ever again. Go on. Get back to your party. I'm stoned. Gonna zen out. Damn, Finn. You need to land, man. I'd rather work my ass off for months than take that risk. Shit. Are we really getting kicked out of this place? We don't have enough money to go down to Mexico. What? Dude, dude, Shit. Cassidy's been busting my balls about a tattoo you for a week. First, girl. Looks like she meant it. I kind of feel her. So Being so far so from far home. From and with someone getting on her nerves half the time. Hey, everything okay? Diaz, my favorite straight-A student. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting, or... Don't worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sister. What's going on? Don't worry about that. Secret girl talk. Mm. 
I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? Yeah. At least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. Then Finn likes to get his weed on. Um, why don't you come with us? Is that... Are you serious? Um, yeah. Why not? That's so sweet, Sean. But I'm not cut out for that laugh. I can't stay in the same place. I need to move. See places. Live. And the last thing Daniel wants is me bumming around with you two. <laughs> Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. One thing I learned traveling is how small the world is. We already met twice. Why well, not more? Even if we don't, we'll be fucking cool memories in each other's mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is a tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> Sounds cool, but tomorrow I'll totally regret it. What? Are you doubting my drawing skills? <laughs> no way. I'm just not into the needle action. Oh, it doesn't hurt, you big baby. Well, not that much. Come on. Fuck yeah. Let's... Let's do it. Really? Yes. Yes! Here comes your street cred. What's your favorite game? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not sure I... I'm joking. It'll be super cool. I swear. So, what do you want? Think hard. Um, a wolf? Thingy? But not too cringe, okay? Boy, you won't be disappointed. Here's to your first tattoo, Sean Diaz. All right, put your arm over here. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. <clears throat> hey, <sighs> don't move, sweetie. But it fucking hurts. <laughs> what did you think this was? Doodling on your arm with a pen? Don't worry, you won't feel the pain, eventually. Better? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm my poor city boy. At least I'm sure you'll never forget me now. I don't need a tattoo to remember you, Cass. Bullshit. Life's a bitch, Sean. You know it as much as I do. Who knows what's coming for you? Mm. A month from now, you can meet a sugar mommy or get hired on a cruise ship to Egypt or whatever. And before you know it, will be a tiny memory in the back of your mind. Will you get a new tattoo to remember me? Yes, I will. I don't want to forget you. I'm really glad I got to meet you, Sean Diaz. From that day at the market, I knew there was something in you. Whoa, I... Thanks. It's the same for me. I had hoped that we'd meet again, and we did. Yep, don't believe in fate, but sometimes life sure does look a lot like it. And I'm done. What do you think? It looks good. Thanks a lot. I love it. I'm glad you like it. This will keep it warm for the night. 
you'll need to buy a healing balm when you can. Hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Come with me. That was cool. Hope I don't look like a clown. I actually kind of get why they all wear tattoos. Feels like you belong. Jeez. Cassidy's crazy. So don't make her wait at the lake, dude. this it's freezing <laughs> it's all in your head just don't think about it <laughs> uh, sure don't think <sighs> okay here I come I think <laughs> yeah yeah get over it hurry up there you go bring it home <laughs> hey you got to take it all off no cheating Shit, shit, shit. My, my balls. <sighs> Cassidy, do not even. <clears throat> you are so adorable. Yeah, I know. Not bad, Diaz. Didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> my body just had to get used to it. Not that cold. That's because I had to pee. Ha, ha, ha! So, what are you gonna do about Finn and, you know, his plan? It's a really stupid idea. Way too dangerous, especially for Daniel. I know, Finn acts like this is no big deal, but this feels bad. Plus, I don't want you guys to get in any more trouble. Yeah, tell that to Daniel. He's gonna be pissed. He's your brother. He'll listen to you. Finn wants to take care of us, but... But he doesn't always see other people. It's all about him. I know, but I feel bad for ruining his dream. He'll rage for a while, for sure. Then I'll be cool. He likes you. What do you mean? Come on, Heartbreaker. <laughs> You know everybody likes you. I plead guilty. Yeah. I like you too. Oh, Sean. <laughs> That's sweet. I'm flattered. Nor do you bust out this line whenever you go skinny dipping. First time. Swear. Are you sure? I'm... Not that much of a player, as you can tell. Hmm, I don't know. We're both already naked. Hey, that's your fault. Not that I mind. So, do you want to kiss me? Yes, I do. If that's cool. Yes. It is. See?
Now, let's get out of here. <laughs> Damn, Sean. You really are cold. Shut up. Stop looking. Hold on a sec. Okay. <laughs> it's been worse. John? Hello? You want me to come inside? If you want to, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Then get in, bro. Sorry for the mess. Porters rejected my application. Again. <laughs> Are you cool? Totally. Uh, I'm, I'm just nervous. Kind of bummed we waited till now. No shit. You're kind of a slow player, dude. Now we're all cozy, right? Yeah, um, hey, listen, I, I think you should know that I'm, uh... I know. Don't worry about it, okay? I took a breath of fresh air I took in the view at the top I took a walk of her golden hair I took a look, it was gone If living Is giving I took her heart cause she let me I took a walk in the dark I took some time to decide if it was right I took a walk in the dark If living is giving, I'm hey, ready. what's up? Nothing, I just uh, never mind. Willing. Come on, talk to me. Sorry, I, uh, sorry it sucked. Sean, this is your first time. I won't give you a bad review online. Promise. 
That's, uh, sweet. But you don't have to be like that. Hey, I mean it, Sean. Just take it easy and you'll have time to practice, okay? Okay, we need some fresh air. Let's get dressed. Until we fuck again. Sean, it's all good, okay? Hey, what's happening? Wait, did you guys just have sex? Yeah, <laughs> kinda. Uh, yep. Did you see Finn? He was with Daniel, but now I can't find him. Well, you didn't see anybody out there, but... We better go now. Figures Daniel was with him. Just tell Finn I want to talk. Thanks much. Later. Sean, hold up. Wait a sec. Why? We have to stop them. Let's figure out a plan first. We don't have time for that shit. Well, we have to get to Merrill's before then. You're right. Maybe we can borrow one of Big Joe's trucks. messed up. I told Daniel. Fucking Finn. Hey, get mad later. We got shit to do now. If something happens, fuck me. It's okay. We're gonna get them. Bring them back. Thanks for coming with me, Cassidy. Don't thank me. I'm gonna kill Finn myself. Somebody build a lock. Of course. We probably gotta check a car. One truck is missing. See? Those tracks are headed out. Fuck. At least they didn't wake Big Joe up. But if we do, he'll kill us, Sean. So let's not advertise. No lights, no noise. I'll check the car, you do the truck. Figures. Check the other door now. Maybe the car then? Cass, check it out. So, all the doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. And I think I can get that truck started. You shitting me? My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck, just in case. Sean Diaz, you're full of surprises. Plus, we could uh, mess with all the other cars so Big Joe can't follow us. Love the way you think. We can find some things here to bust shit up. But we can't make a sound. Sean, I checked the car. All doors locked. Of course. Keep looking around. We need to find a way to open that trunk.
Nothing over here, man. Hmm. Nice. Oh, fuck. Guess we won't be working here anymore. Finn is so fucking stupid. She blows. Damn, that was fun. Not going to follow us now, mother. It's gonna break. Just gotta get in that truck and start her up. These bunch of pigs sure don't care about this place. Seen the signs, dumbass. Oh, yeah, maybe this fits in one of the cars. here. Anything useful in this junk? Give me something. Get 
Maybe we can get in through here. No way. You did it! Let's get out of here. Drive! Fuck this shit, we did it! It was so close. Let's do this. wrong after the night we've had. This is basic karma. Shit. Right. I want this to continue, Cass. We should go. They might not even be inside yet. Oh, Finn is out of control. Has he done this before? Fuck us over? Not like this. Why now? Because Finn thinks Daniel is his golden ticket. He just gets greedy. I'm stupid. We gotta catch him. Sean, we'll be fine together. Promise. How? What's Meryl gonna do if he catches them? Finn's a smart bullshitter. He'll find a way out of this. I know. Good. At least Meryl won't know anyone's coming. Ah, oh, shit! You scared the shit out of me. Good! What the fuck are you doing? Didn't we settle this, man? Shh! You're gonna wake Meryl! Finn, no fucking way. Come on, Sean. Are you kidding me? How could you do that, Finn? And you're some fucking kid. He's nine years old. He asked me for it. I didn't force him, man. Are you an idiot? He's too young to make that kind of decision. Fuck's sake, Finn. He's an old soul. He knows what's up. Hold on, please. You're standing near a boatload of cash. We can do this in five minutes, in and out. And then you're off to Mexico. You won't hear about me ever again. We got this, man. Trust me. No means no, Finn. Meryl is right fucking there. Uh, he's a log. Won't God, even know. You asshole. I want to help, Sean. We could get out of here. Go to Mexico. He said, no fucking way, Sean. Please. We're done, Finn. Come on, Daniel. No, why should I? We couldn't even find you before. You were with her, right? Who gives a shit? Let's go. Now. No, I'm sick of all this. For weeks, you just hang out with her. It's all your fault. I could do what I want. Crazy. The fuck are you doing here? Shit. 
Don't move. Don't shoot. What the fuck? How many are you? Just us. It's just us. All right. Move your asses over there. Now. Uh, Meryl. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. God damn it, Finn, I told you- Shut up! This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different. Smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your head. Shit, don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We... We could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now. Wait. Let me explain. Oh, yeah? Explain this. Ah! <clears throat> Don't insult me by acting like you've got a reason to steal. Don't! For the last time, get on your fucking knees. Meryl? No. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't move. Just get on your damn knees! Yeah, now! He can't do this. Don't fucking move! It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore, you shot. Daniel, do it! Get out! Oh, out, son of a bitch! Shut! Uh. Wait! Stop! Uh. Oh. oh my god! No! Oh.